During the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, we have seen some major changes in the management of multiple myeloma uh, patient. Uh, and it's important to uh, note that, uh, uh, or to highlight, that multiple myeloma patients are really considered as uh, uh, one vulnerable group uh, to this uh, infection. Therefore, the spirit of uh, the uh, management of these patients during the pandemic was about to protect them as much as possible. Uh, and uh, this has to do, for instance, with the uh, advice about social uh, distancing uh, to take some very strict measures when it comes to avoiding uh, any risk of uh, uh, contamination. And this is why, for instance, we needed to minimize uh, or to reduce the frequency uh, when uh, they come to the hospital. And this is why, for instance, whenever possible, we moved into applying oral therapy uh, instead of IV or subcute infusions. We uh, moved into uh, doing things at home whenever possible. When it comes, for instance, to infusions which are being performed twice per week, uh, we try to reduce it into once weekly whenever possible. Uh, another important change which is uh, really crucial in the case of multiple myeloma is about the uh, dosage and use of uh, dexamethasone. Uh, we know that this is a very potent immunosuppressive agent and in a significant proportion of patients, uh, we managed to reduce the dosage or even uh, to discontinue the drug. I think the list of changes is extremely long, uh, but I believe these were uh, the uh, main uh, characteristics. In addition, for instance, uh, to postponing any non crucial or urgent. Uh, intervention. And this has been the case, for instance, for autologous stem cell transplant in those patients who are eligible uh, because we managed to deliver longer durations of induction in order uh, to uh, allow more time for the pandemic uh, to calm down. So, uh, yes, uh, the COVID-19 pandemic had a significant impact on the management of multiple myeloma patients. And uh, hopefully with these uh, approaches, with these uh, few changes, uh, we manage uh, to uh, keep these patients, at least the majority, safe and well.